Hi everyone, I've got a book to read for you for this week and it's called There's an Alligator Under My Bed. There used to be an alligator under my bed. When it was time to go to sleep, I had to be very careful. Uh -oh. <laughs> because I knew he was there. But whenever I looked, he hid or something. So I'd call Mom and Dad. Mom, Dad. But they never saw it. It was up to me. I just had to do something about this alligator. So I went to the kitchen to get some alligator bait. I filled a paper bag full of things alligators like to eat. So what do you think alligators like to eat? Let's find out. I put a peanut butter sandwich, some fruit, and the last piece of pie in the garage. Hmm. I didn't know alligators liked that kind of food, but sounds good. I put cookies down the hallway. I left fresh vegetables on the stairs. Looks like there's some cabbage and corn and broccoli and carrots and squash. Yum. I put soda and some candy next to my bed. Then I watched and waited. Sure enough, out he came to get something to eat. There he goes. Then I hid in the hall closet. I followed him down the stairs. I followed him down the hall. When he crawled into the garage, there he goes. He's going in the garage. I slammed the door and locked it. Then I went to bed. There wasn't even a mess to clean up, so the alligator ate all the food that he left out. Yummy. Now that there is an alligator in the garage. I wonder if my dad will have any trouble getting in his car tomorrow morning. Uh-oh. Let's see. Let's see what happens. I'll just leave him a note. And the note says, Dear Dad, there is an alligator in the garage. If you need help, wake me up. Warning, be careful. So he wrote that on the note. And then there he is. All right, you guys. I will um, hopefully talk to you soon. And... Um, um, we probably won't see each other before the year is over. Wednesday should be our, would have been our last day of being in the classroom. And, um, love you guys and I miss you. And, um, we will hopefully talk to you soon.